Hey everyone, welcome. My name is Bianca and welcome to Faithful Encourager. So in my video content, I always um, lean on God and the word and prayer to be able to put out content that will bless you and encourage you. And so I guess the past few videos I've been uh, making have been really focused on spiritual warfare since I guess that is what God has been helping me to want to equip other Christians who have been going through the same same struggles. And so we know that we're all going through some kind of struggle one way or another in the faith. And so um, I am here to be able to help you through my own struggles that I've been through, okay? So with that being said, I will start this video in prayer. So Heavenly Father, I just want to say thank you for everyone watching. I ask you, Lord, to bind Satan. I bind Satan and every demonic principality that would that would distract the viewers from the videos. I pray, Father, that you give them receptive hearts, a focused mind, that you bless and anoint the words that I speak, and that they go forth and that they produce fruit in the hearts of the believers that the people are watching. And... A hundredfold as well and that this word does not return void Lord in Jesus name I thank you amen so in today's video I will be talking to you about a revelation that I had when I was in a woman's shelter okay it's called the three D's okay the three D's represent diet discipline and deliverance so God had spoken to me about a little boy that was in the woman's shelter who was misbehaving and it was a boy who was about I think four or five years old. In one of my videos, um, one of the people who wrote a comment asked me if a kid could have a demon and the answer is yes, we can have them by generational curses. We can have them because, like, a kid can have them for many reasons, like abuse, if they played video games that have, you know, demonic openings. There's so many things, occult games, um, and just, yeah, it's not always demonic, but, you know, there's also the aspect of the diet. So what is the parent giving to the child? Are you giving your child just sugar, pure sugar? Um, like a lot of sugary treats that make the child super hyper and that can affect the child as well. There's also the discipline aspect, the discipline aspect, which means that how you raise your child and train up your child in the way they should go. How are you being with your child? Are you disciplining them? Are you consistent with your discipline as well? And so that's another thing. Maybe they are lashing out because they need your attention. So these are just things to keep in mind. So coming back to that mom is that I I really felt for this mom and the kid. I really, you know, I really, really felt for them both. And the mom was a Christian mom. So God told me, hey, tell her about the three Ds. And I was like, okay, Lord, this is, it's, it's uncomfortable, but okay, I'll tell her. So I brought it up to her. And so she's like, okay, I'm going to pray about it, you know. So I don't know if she ever did anything about the deliverance with her little boy, but that was that, okay. And so the three Ds don't just apply to kids. They apply to us adults. And to every single person. So are we eating the right food? So it's not just a diet like um, the keto diet. It's diet in general. Like what is our diet like? What are we consuming? So if we are consuming spiritual food, which feeds our spirit, what are we feeding our physical body to be able to support the spirit. The spirit that is in our physical body needs to be a healthy a healthy body, okay? So if we have problems with uh, obesity, if we have problems with gluttony, um, these are things that you take to the Lord and you might need to get deliverance from. Uh, you also might need to see the root problem of why it is that you have this issue. Maybe it's a covering for yourself. Some people who are obese is because 
a self-esteem thing you know there's always that root so ask god to get to the root of it and to heal that okay some people say that fasting has really helped them to break that that habit with food which is like just consuming food for the sake of consuming food okay so the diet part is really important what we eat and consume feeds our cells and i think don't quote me on this but i think it's a cycle of 21 days where our cells change and so what we feed ourselves will change our cells and will make us healthy so just yeah keep that in mind okay and so i've noticed with myself personally is that when i eat really healthy like if i do like a juice cleanse if i consume lots of fruits and veggies and i try to stay off like you know uh, snacks that have sugar um like uh fruit sugar is okay but you know what i mean like uh white sugar and stuff like that then i do notice a difference in my mood in the way i feel i feel more tired sluggish and so on so if we are in an optimal position because of the food we eat then we are in a better position to serve others we're in a bit better position to focus and concentrate on the word of god as well prayer helping people, and to fight the good fight of faith, okay? So this is one of the Bible verses, is be sober and vigilant. And because your enemy, the devil, is a roaring lion, so when you eat good food, you are more vigilant, okay? And so that is one thing to keep in account. So the diet aspect is really, 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 really important. <laughs> it's a lot of reallys, but it's highlighted, like... And underline really really important and yeah I'm sure you already know that but just reinstating that for you there's the discipline discipline with the Word of God okay with worshiping God not just because you're going through the motion I got to worship God just because I got to worship God sometimes yes yeah, sometimes you don't feel like it but you do it and then finally it's like it kickstarts in and you get into that real worship you know it's almost like fake it until you make it okay it can be like that but you still remember that god has designed us in order to worship him and it's truly a blessing like things break off of us chains break off of us and sometimes depression anxiety um, breaks off of us and when the devil sees us worshiping god he that's another way to resist him that's another key of the kingdom is worshiping god and i remember when i was in the woman's shelter and I remember my spirit was so heavy. I was so sad. I was not in depression, but I was in a very big state of sadness. And I remember, like, I was just saying, God, it's so hard for me to worship you right now, but please just give me a song to worship you. Really help me to want to worship you. And so the song that he gave me was 10,000 Reasons to Bless the Lord. And that became my song with my my three-year-old daughter and i i worship him that song and that song just lifted me up and broke chains of heaviness that spirit of heaviness you know so that is one thing to keep into account is the worshiping so putting yourself in a spirit of discipline okay uh, you can worship the Lord while you do the dishes, while you clean the house. It's a really good motivating factor, okay? And will really get your spirit, like, ignited, you know? Like a little tiny flame that is just keep on growing as you worship God. It just boosts your whole mood, okay? And apparently, this is what I've heard is that when we worship God, there's like receptors in our brain that goes off and sparks off. Like it actually, like we're designed to worship God. And then the other thing is setting time aside for the Lord every single day. So you find the times that suit you. It's usually better in the morning because when you give your first to God, your first 10% in everything, 10% of your money, your tithe, your whatever it is, but giving your 10%, like your not just 10% of your time with God, but like your first fruits to God, your first time to God. He refreshes you, but in return, you are able to be a better servant to other people as well. And I notice when I, when I, 
I'm better about this. It, <laughs> some days that I'm better than others. But when I do this, I notice that I'm such a better mom to my children, to my community. So, yeah. Reading the word, finding time to read the word, finding time to pray for people, for others. And you always ask God, what is it that you want me to pray for? What is it that you want to show me? Open my eyes, Lord, to your word. Help me. Help me, God, you know. So don't be afraid to ask God to help you. He will help you. It says pray without ceasing. So ask for everything and anything, okay? So we've got the diet. We've got the discipline. And now the deliverance. So the deliverance is the children's bread, okay? Deliverance is not just for unbelievers. It's for believers. So as soon as we become Christian, we start a sanctification process when we become born again. And so, okay, so now we've given our spirits to God, but our souls need to be cleaned out. They need to be sanctified. And so God sees that and he's there with us to help us through the process but we need to take responsibility for yeah closing the doors but then also evicting those spirits those unclean spirits from our soul our soul is our mind will and emotions so we need to kick those spirits out okay in the name of jesus christ so you figure out it through the word, like, you know, what God hates. And you see what are the openings that I've opened myself up to. And then one by one, you just say, okay, let's say if you had sexual, you've been in sexual immorality with someone. So you just repent. You cut the soul ties. You say, in Jesus' name, I cut all soul ties to all these relationships, these ungodly relationships. I renounce this activity. In Jesus' name, I command that every sexual lustful spirit get out now in Jesus' name. Okay? And so you speak that with faith, not just parroting it and just going through the motions of saying it, but you really say it with your belief and then you speak that out loud in Jesus' name. And you do that with other things. If it's a cult, you do the same thing. I repent, I renounce, and then you close the door verbally, okay? So these are the three Ds, diet, discipline, and deliverance, okay? These will strengthen you as a fellow christian in the faith so i'm going to end this video here i just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch it thank you for pressing the like button and subscribing and i love hearing your comments about your own personal stories honestly it's really it's really encouraging for me to know that yeah we are all going through similar things and if i can be of any help to help you in the comments section i will if you want me to talk about certain topics in about spiritual warfare if um if i can help you in that way then please let me know uh, if you need any help and by writing in the comments okay all right so i'll just end this in prayer god i just want to say thank you for everyone I ask that you bless them and help them to really Really meditate on the three Ds, okay? Really meditate on where they need to eat better. Uh, not just food, but also the food that we take in through our eyes, you know, guarding our hearts as well. And the discipline, Lord. Help them with their discipline. Help them with the deliverance. Help them in all these areas, Lord. I just highlighted what you showed me, but Father, you take the lead in this and you help them and you break chains off of them. I declare that chains are broken off of you in Jesus' name. I declare and decree that whoever the Son sets free is free indeed and you are free. I declare that God is delivering you right now in Jesus' name. So just believe it and receive it and take it in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye.